So how do we even go about testing int tree? Well, there's really not that many methods in it right now. We just looked at the print, and I've already said forget about contains. We're not even worried about that at all. The two methods that came with it were constructors. There's an int tree, which uh, takes no arguments and sets overall root to null. This won't be very exciting. We call print, we'll see nothing. Uh, and we have a second constructor that takes a node, an int tree node, and sets the overall root to be that node. So this is the constructor I want to use. So I'm going to open up wherever your public static void main is, and I want to make a new int tree. Int tree, new int. So I could use this constructor, but it's going to create an int tree with uh, an empty with a null overall root, and it won't be very useful. So what I really want to do is use the constructor that takes a node, an int tree node, and builds a tree around it. Now in order to do that, I need to create an int tree node. Uh, so new int tree node, I believe I have to give it a number. Uh, which will be the integer value it has. Let's go ahead and look at the int tree node. There's not much going on. We get data, we get a left and a right. So I have a constructor that takes only the data and sets left and right to null. And I have a constructor that takes the data and a left and a right, and it sets the data and the left and the right. All right, so let's go ahead and use this now. So I just made a new int tree node, built a new int tree. I'm going to send in this node, and now I want to call print. So remember, int tree has got, and this is not static. This is regular just public void, and we're going to call this print method. So it's tree dot print. There we go. Now we're going to give this a run. And look at that, our tree has 10 in it. So it's not a very exciting tree. So what I'm gonna do is build up a larger tree and call print again.